Amway Coaches Poll. The Amway Coaches Poll is out, and the big surprise is that the Big Ten has supplanted the SEC as college football's big dog. Though Alabama is a strong number one with the voters, the Big Ten placed four teams among the top ten, historically the kind of haul the SEC used to brag about. This time, there's a pretty big drop-off for the SEC between Alabama and LSU, which comes in at number 12, and the Big Ten has four teams between them. Though the Big Ten has just four top 25 teams overall compared to the SEC six and the ACC's five, the voters really believe that the top of the Big Ten overall is better than the top of any other conference. I guess we'll see. Much like last season, number three Florida State opens with a brutal month of September and is a likely candidate to fall in the rankings. The Seminoles get Alabama in the opener, Miami in week three, and then NC State the following week. All three of those teams have something in common. They're very good defensively, and in particular, they have big time talent along the front seven. That's a potential problem for Florida State, whose offensive line has underperformed the last couple of years and faces a lot of questions about its ability to protect quarterback DeAndre Francois. If the Knolls aren't sharp in September, they'll be out of the race early, just like last season. At number 15 in the poll, Georgia seems a likely candidate to shoot up the rankings this year. While there are some questions nationally about second-year coach Kirby Smart coming off a disappointing 8-5 record, the Bulldogs are arguably the second most talented team in the SEC and return 10 starters off a top 20 defense from last season. If quarterback Jacob Eason makes a leap in his sophomore year, Georgia will be the favorite to win the SEC East and has a favorable enough schedule to be a playoff contender deep into November. Though Alabama's only won one of the last four national titles, they're the default choice to be number one this year and probably every year as long as Nick Saban is the head coach. Though the Crimson Tide lost a lot of experience with nine players off last season's team going in the first three rounds of the NFL Draft, they've got that next group of five-star recruits waiting in the wings like they always do. Nick Saban churns them through that process and they win at a high level every single year. Plus, with sophomore quarterback Jalen Hurts having a year under his belt, Alabama projects to be just as good or better offensively while maintaining their defensive identity that they always bring to the table. Until they get knocked out of the championship race, you have to give Alabama the benefit of the doubt.